you get so self-disciplined that you don't realize just the other day you weren't all raw. And now you're all raw judging others that are not all raw. And that's just not how it is. You can't judge those that are not raw because it wasn't long ago you weren't raw. So I'm trying to tell people, walk with balance and love and appreciate the fact that these poor people haven't woken up to the raw yet. And so this should be humbling and then one goes and helps people wake up to the raw, not sit there and judge those. And that's what you see a lot of times, uh, the judgment of others. And we just need to put that to the side because in the, in the, uh, the reality of it all, this body comes and goes like the wind blows. Uh, you are always here. So that's the part you have to get with. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Lily Mae. But it's hard to explain that uh, to others because it's hard when you see me now uh, what I was 40 years ago. 40 years is a long time to make a big difference. Dr. Jensen was 75 years in the field. You imagine the hell he went through. Remember, uh, yesterday was worse in terms of governments and states. And I mean, we were persecuted like you, you won't believe, much more than chiropractors ever were. They, they won their right. Think about that. They won their right. <laughs> The AMA someday is going to pay a big price for all of this because that I have to go right back to them. They're lobbying to the states. Go back to that whole scenario. They're the ones. Nobody else has to blame state legislatures. They're all brainwashed too. So much of our reality is created in the mind. A stagnant mind, a connected spirit can equal a stagnant body. Yes, you're right on, Lily May. I tell you totally there. You know what? When you're connecting to raw, you're connecting to energy, aren't we? We're, we're increasing the level of magnetic energy we're bringing into the body. We're also bringing the chemistry with that because things that are not destroyed uh, in terms of their original forms are magnetically bonded to suit the species that, are, that that food is meant to eat. So that all fits with the physiology and the digestive ability and everything else, the chewing, everything, the elimination, everything, each food is designed for specific species. That's why it took time to go in my book on specific uh, vertebrates because it really is important that one understand what vertebrae, because outside of that you're into blood type crap, you're into all kinds of stuff like that. And I will say blood type crap. To me, that, uh, that individual uh, couldn't be so further from the truth. And you just don't see that in any other species. Uh, you do, this is that deals with immunity. It doesn't deal with physiology. And I've said this before. I can take any blood type anywhere on this planet and rebuild their health with a fruit berry and, and uh, melon and an herb program. I don't care who it is. I've had them every, every country there is on the planet. So, but these are sort of the things, you know, that we uh, face here, but I'm with you, Lily Mae. The spirituality is by far your survival throughout, um, and I'll loosely say eternity, but it is your survival. Your awareness of yourself and how much you have of that is totally your joy, your survival, and your peace, that sort of thing. So I've always felt that's really the key, is connecting and, and being awakened from the higher viewpoint of who you are and then using the mind and then controlling the mind and then you control the ego. If not, then the ego gets out of shape and pretty soon you're, you're saying and acting ways that you don't even really realize. Some of these guys probably don't realize the way they're acting. I didn't. I thought I was, hey, hey chip up for the chipper. You know, uh, raw. Everybody should, once you realize that, and I, and I tell you raw's good, then you should be on raw. That's, that's the kind of ego you can get into there, and I just learned uh, otherwise. It took me down another road of humility and, uh, and other things. So I maintain a high level of raw, and I suggest everybody do. But if you think everybody's going to be 100% fruit or 100% raw the rest of their lives, doubt it. But you can go in and out and play and have fun and work your consciousness through that. Get your kids raw. Keep working this whole raw thing because as we move down this road, the same thing will happen over time. Dead foods will fall away. Meats will fall away. Everything will start falling away. So it's so important that we as a group become strong and balanced. And then society can accept you. If you're way out of balance, the, the durians of the world are not going to, it's not going to be accepted by mainstream. There, you're, you're too judgmental, too radical. And, and we want to be a accepted and understood 
but also respected for being one God people and truly God people that walks with love and, and humility and things. And we want to walk as healers. We want to show this the art of true healing and that it isn't a monstrous intellectual game. That's simple. Since having my tonsils, this is Brad, since having my tonsils removed as a kid, I am at much of a disadvantage in regards to the lymph system. That's a question mark. What can I do? Well, that's just it, Brad. I think the most important thing we can do is detox our, our system, get our adrenals. If, go back and fix why you lost the tonsils. In other words, go back and fix that why. When you fix that why, you're good. And then you stay, you know, pretty high raw diet, high fruit, berries, and melons in your life, and you'll keep your lymph system moving, and you won't notice a thing. But you have to go back. You have to fix your kidneys, your adrenals. you got to clean up your gut, lymphatically speaking. Clean up your body, lymphatically speaking, and get yourself healthy, and then, Brad, you don't have to worry about it. Once you get your kidneys filtering and you may maintain a good high diet and stay away from these high-protein diets, you should be okay. Many, many questions. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, uh, Col uh, this is Colin. Uh, let me see here. Many, many questions. First off, I never hear you talk about prune juice. Well, I'm not a fan of prune juice or cranberry juice, to tell you the truth. A little acidic on my side. I'm not so negative that I don't think you shouldn't drink it, but I never recommend cranberry juice. I'd recommend grape or any of the other ones over cranberry uh, a little on the acidic side, same thing with prune, but you can have them. I would personally recommend that to be your main choice for juices, not when you have so much more powerful juices, although thick prune juice is pretty strong, but still, when you get up into your grapes and your, your oranges and your lemons and you get up into these, they're pretty strong as well. Uh, for the bow, particularly the villi's of the ileum, um, yeah, nah, I wouldn't uh, recommend those two for the villi's. I have worked on some uh, concoctions, <laughs> I bet. Uh, you know, just kind of getting an idea on you. I just have this sense about you. Uh -huh, that explains it. If you call them that, uh, well, you know what? That's what you do. You play with this. But I like a mixture of cranberry, prune, apple, pear, grapes, and a touch of carrot. Well, you know, I think that sounds all right to me. Yeah. You know, that's the whole fun of it. I mean, there's all kinds of neat flavors. You know, people used to say, you know, you, they, they look at the fruits and the berry, the melons and the salads and they, they go, ugh, and it's like, no, that's where all your flavors truly are. Not in, not in all the dead foods and all the crap you got to put on them to make them taste good. Uh -uh. I will say that cooked vegetables are probably a little addicting, but outside of that, side note, I noticed this last year when I went on a 70 day, 70 day fruit fast, boy, would I love to get everybody to do that fast that a bowl of fruit without lemon juice, still including watermelons, grapes, cherries, mangoes, papaya, etc., that I wasn't pulling anything out. Then with lemons included with all of that, I have black stuff coming out. Now, you bring up a good point, and this is a good point here, uh, and, and that is that even when you go to your fruits and your berries and your melons, you can see the differences in the astringent values within these, and you can see why I clamor so hard on the fruits, berries, and melons because of the astringents, and then you can see of them, you pick up with the lemons, the oranges, and the grapefruit because those foods with the most stringents are going to see the black stuff coming out, and by far the lemons are some of the strongest. So, no, I, uh, you know, this is why we keep pushing these grape fast and lemon fast, but again, the average person is not always prone to take off on a seventy day juice fast. I mean, for some that's like, whoa, you just took off my leg. You know what I'm saying? This is the problem. So those of you that have the strength and the self-discipline, God bless, hang on and took on because I love, that's what I did, tore it apart. If we can tear it apart and walk with balance, you really have grown spiritually. That's, how I, that, that's where it's at. And if I can help in any way, please let me do that. Um, even now, when I think I am clean, I feel, I know, I, 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 I really heavy cleaning going on when including lemons. Well, I'm a big fan of all of that. I'm just, I, that's how hard detoxification is. You know, it's an interesting road, and you guys that are working it, hang in there. And I agree with this uh, gentleman that uh, 
sticking up with the lemons. Uh, we love these lemon juice fast. Pretty strong. I love the grape fast too. A little more balance with that. But whatever you need to pull clean, absolutely. Absolutely. My second question is, I noticed that with some people have guts, but lean, uh, lean, slender, lower body, while there is the opposite effect for others. Lean upper body and then pear-shaped bottom. We used to say the pear-shaped bottom was more the... Um, the adrenals, but I tell you, we're talking about the gynecomastia here, the, the bigger barrel chests, and then some men have actually uh, breasts on them. Uh, that's all adrenal glands, so I don't know what to say. Everything's controlled by hormones and steroids in that respect. So the size of the body, the, I mean, this gets deep within those glands and the respective weaknesses within different uh, cells affecting different hormones and steroids, affecting different shapes and sizes of the body, hitting on the pituitary as well be, with all this, this bow and length and, and, and head area problems. Now you're seeing the pituitary going down. Now you're seeing short, tall. You're seeing all kinds of things from the pituitary itself. So this is why this is a game of just getting well. You just head in and get these tissues healthy and well, detox the limb system the best you can, that being prima facie, that being first, that being the most important, and then everything falls in line from there. Would an effective remedy for the lateral condition be to a formula of GI broom as opposed to stomach and bowels? And what about the formal uh, in that question? No, I think really... You know, this is this is just about getting. The, I think the glands are the big issues that you deal with when you say those things, and it's uh, it, it's down to down to the wire of genetics, and so it's just going in and making these glands healthy. That's why I like the glandulars in today. Uh, Twenty years from now, we might not. You know, everything will be changed, hopefully, and all of that, but. Uh, on, on the glandular side of this, it'll enhance the whole gland. Therefore, you're not going to be just affecting certain cells over another one, which is, uh, and you'll bring everything into balance. The weakness will work itself out. Uh, third question, as I told you about the fruit pass, I still have yellow nails on both big toes. Uh, well, you sound like you're loaded with... Uh, 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 oh, no toe staff anymore. Suddenly got a lot of fungus, though. I've been exclusively raw since that time. Being, however, meat solely emitted maybe some grains in between that time last year and some cooked food, potatoes, corn, etc. from that time being. Is the yellow nail still means the kidneys? I think it means fungus. Unless you have some uh, liver enzyme problems and you have some bile problems or something. Um, or... Um, or um, uh, what am I trying to think of here? Billy Rubin. Third question has told you about the... Let me see. Also, since I brought it up... Sounds like fungus, though. Also, since I... Check your whites of your eyes, too. Also, since I brought it up in the uh, beginning, do lymphatic cleansing and bowel cleansing essentially go hand in hand? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything must go hand in hand. The bowel and the and the kidney cleansing actually must take per place first before you're going to get a totally effective systemic cleaning. You got to have the kidneys filtering and the gut cleaned up to get a good drain from sinuses and down. So yeah, yeah, those are where the two places in health it always has been the gut. But uh, for me, it's add those kidneys because they're the ones that are at the crux of the biggest problem. So add those two. The eliminative organs, basically. Those organs that are responsible for the removal of waste, whether they're digestive or cellular, out of the human body. Not a liver, not a transportation factory, not anything that's closed house. Things that filter out of the body. This will have a residual kick all the way back in the body, affecting spleens and things that clean the blood and clean the lymph toward, absolutely. Also, since I thought it up in the beginning, let me see here, well, let me see, uh, reading a lot of Dr. Jensen and Dr. John Ray Christopher, that you start at the bowel and the kidneys and the adrenals. They weren't aware of these things, but uh, we are now. So, definitely, uh, we're the new kids on the block, basically. <laughs> uh, so, uh, kidneys, adrenals, bowels, key factor in every single case you have. 